So, you know, one of the things I get asked a lot, like if I post a workout video on um, online and I'm doing some bag work, yeah, I, I work tight, tight. Right. Um, it's like fighting in a phone booth type of stuff. Okay. You know, a ballistic microfight is Tony Blower. I'm, right. I, I, I took a lot of my training methodology with fight from Tony Blower sure. and his spear system. Right. So I, I love the, the whole spear thing and that ballistic microfight, punches right. and bunches, um, fighting within the confines of a phone booth. So back against the wall, right. bam, bam. Right, right. But a lot of people will ask me, hey, bro, you should work more on BJJ, you know, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Right. <laughs> I love Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Sure. I think it's cool as hell. <clears throat> I was a wrestler in high school, and I wrestled in the Army, too. And I'm, I was good at it. Um, I could double leg, take down somebody, headlock, punch him in the face. You guys were doing BJJ before it was yeah, cool. Before it was cool. Yeah. <clears throat> so we were, we were, I mean, before I knew about BJJ, we were learning, um, uh, uh, what's that called? Freaking tools to, you know, either eliminate, break a limb, snap a, 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 a um, appendage, yeah, an appendage, yeah, right, <laughs> that kind of stuff. But I love it. It's really good stuff. But here's my point with those guys. You, you, you should do, and, and I, I can't stand this statement because it's a bullshit statement. Yeah. Most street fights go to the ground. Bullshit. It's bullshit. Right. Say not, they'll even have a percentage. 90% of street fights go to the ground. Bullshit. They go to the ground for two reasons. One, you don't know how to fight. Two, that's what you know. Yeah. You know you're a wrestler or a jujitsu guy, right. and you're going to take them to the ground. Uh, I've had a lot of street fights. I'm not proud of it, but guys are dicks. Right. Yeah. Um, they've never gone, none of them have ever gone to the ground. But my other thing I will say, one is if 90% go to the ground, about 100% start on your feet. Sure. <laughs> now, mobility, survivability, I want to stay on my feet for as long as possible. Right. The other thing I will tell guys is, hey, you need to learn BJJ for a street fight. I'll say, okay, when facing three opponents, which most street fights are like that, which one do I BJJ first? <laughs> That's right. Which one? Yeah. Think about that. Yeah. I want to bash and go. If there's three guys, I'm going to freaking wham. I'm yeah. going to hit somebody and probably boogie. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, yeah. uh, I'm going to knock somebody out. So these guys are looking at him and haul ass. I saw, you might've seen this too on Instagram recently. There was some guy standing in a, looks like a restaurant that was an open like garage door kind of thing in front of them. Yep. And two guys came up on him and he beat both of them. Beat, their beat ass. both of them up. But he nothing ever went. The only, right. went to, only thing that went to Those the ground guys was them. Yes. Yeah. yeah he, he knocked was, them both down a couple times. It was times. all punches. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then we and then kick them when they were kick down. Them, but yeah, 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 yeah. Just to just, keep them down. It, yeah. In, insult to injury. And so, yeah, so he would finish with one and come back and beat the yep. other one that he just knocked yep. down. So yep. yeah, he never went to the ground. Right. Yep. And and I, I've most street fights that I've seen, they didn't go to the ground. Now, what a lot of them are, when they say that most street fights go to ground, they're looking at LEO world. Okay. Yeah. You know, and a lot of them go to ground because a lot of LEOs can't fight. Right, right. And now they end up wrestling a guy, and, and once you go to the ground, you better know some BJJ. You better know right. some submission moves. Yeah. You have to. Yeah. So you have to practice that stuff. But if you don't do any stand-up, you're not ready for a street fight. Right. In my opinion. Yeah. You're not ready. And then the other thing, like I said, is I want I, a lot of what I practice is tight. It's in here. It's nice and tight. Yeah. Uh, it's a lot of head movement. It's visual acuity because he's going to hit me too. Sure. But it's the one that you don't see that's going to hurt you. Right. So I want to make sure that I'm, I'm covering up as much as possible, firing for my legs, using a lot of legs, straight up uppercuts, fast, tight hooks. Right. Uh, but a lot of people don't practice that either because that's the other thing I'll get your teeth on is you're not extending your jab far enough. You're not extending yeah. your jab. Well, the thing is, I'm practicing here. Bam, 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 sure. bam. You know, right there. Right. Back against the wall, maybe two guys throwing knees, hitting with, uh, clocking with elbows. You know, so I want, I, I, so I practice that a lot. Yeah. That close in, tight type of fighting in a phone booth, ballistic micro fight type of stuff. Right. So, so let's let's take a step back. I mean, we, this is street fight philosophy. 
ultimately, initially, you want to try to avoid a bad situation, right? right? Like, what do, you, what do you always say? The best way to get out of a bad situation, don't get there in the first place. Don't get in the avoid, first place. Avoid, 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 avoid. Right, so there's there's situational awareness, A, then there's the de-escalation yep. of a situation. Don't go looking for trouble. But here's a question, because you, I mean, every other video that you do from your weekly workouts, you're you're punching something. Yep. Whether it's Bob or these aqua bags, or so, you're hitting something. something. So you're always working on what you just described, mm -hmm. staying in tight, all that sort of thing. Yep. Fight in the phone book. Well, um, the average person who ends up in a bar fight, for example, doesn't fight often. Right. And if, because if somebody who does put that kind of time and effort into fighting, whether it's boxing or BJJ, they themselves aren't looking for trouble. A good fighter is not gonna start a fight. Right. It's, that's, an, that's, a, that's a good way to say that. A good yep. fighter is not going to start yep. a fight. Yep. You're not, a professional MMA guy isn't going into a bar to look for a fight. Right. There's no freaking way. Right. No way. Right. So, so this, is, this comes down to dealing with the douchebaggery. Right. Right. Defensive mm -hmm. driving, right. should we say. Yep. And then, you know, that too, you need to size up that situation because guys are dicks. Yeah. They just are. There's yep. a lot of dicks out there. Right. And the, the other thing is you, you can't underestimate what is in that body sure whether he's gigantic or tiny right. you can't you can't underestimate you can't judge a book by its cover so that so you don't want to enter his zone you don't want to retreat you know if you move you're just going to lateral move away sure lateral move away but you want to avoid 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 because you also in a street fight you need to let people see that you are trying to avoid it because now it's a win-win. Yeah. Whether you knock somebody out or you get knocked out, right. you weren't starting it and you were trying to avoid it. Right. So it's a win-win for you. Because you're probably but being filmed. Everybody's filming. <laughs> there's cameras everywhere. There's cell phones everywhere. Everybody's looking. Yeah. All the time. The one eye don't lie. Right. So you need to avoid, 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 avoid. Yeah. Yep. At all costs.